How to GPU Mine Komodo with NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Here on Crypto Compare, we can see Komodo. It's a relatively new cryptocurrency based on the Equihash Zcash algorithm. Komodo is a privacy centric cryptocurrency that combines the anonymity of Zcash with the security of Bitcoin. Using a new consensus mechanism developed by the Komodo team, delayed proof of work. Komodo blocks can be notarized using the Bitcoin blockchain. KMD is issued through an Equihash based POW protocol and the new block information is sent out to pre-voted notary nodes. These nodes insert the Komodo block information on the BTC blockchain by creating a custom transaction. This system ensures that in order to hack Komodo, one would have to rewrite both chains. You can see that there is a maximum supply of 200 million Komodo. It uses the Equihash algorithm. It's delayed proof of work and proof of work. It just started very recently. And there is a current supply of just over 100 million Komodo. There was an ICO of 100 million Komodo. Here is the Komodo website at komodoplatform.com. You can read more about it by going to the website and clicking on our resources, checking out the Bitcoin Talk thread, or checking out Komodo Press. You can download the wallet by clicking on Download Iguana. We can see that it's anonymous, secure, and green. Komodo aims at being the new standard for cryptocurrency security and anonymity. Protected by Zcash zero-knowledge proofs, users can make 100% untraceable transactions that are secured by Bitcoin's Petahash proof-of-work due to Komodo's new delayed proof-of-work consensus mechanism. And the page goes on to talk about the Zcash anonymous transactions, which uses both normal and anonymous transactions. Delayed proof-of-work using a delayed proof-of-work consensus mechanism that allows it to export information into the Bitcoin blockchain through custom transactions. And BitShares witness style consensus. Notary nodes are responsible for notarizing the Komodo blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain. The notary nodes are chosen via voting mechanism and they are rewarded with the majority of the block reward and transaction fees. The Iguana Wallet is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. The Iguana Wallet can run in three different modes, Ballistic Mode, Full Mode and Native Mode. Here you can see the wallet, it looks pretty nice. And here is the Bitcoin Talk forum thread for Komodo. Most of this we already know about. And here's an image showing the supply of Komodo. You can see that there was a 100 million Komodo ICO with 10% of that reserved for development. In total, after 14 years, there will be 200 million Komodo available. And you can read more about BTCD, the delayed proof of work mechanism. Here I am at supernova.cc. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see that Komodo has recently been added. It works off of the Equihash algorithm. I'll click on Start Mining to get started. That will take me to kmd.supernova.cc. I'm going to click on My Account and My Workers. And I've already created two workers, 1980-1480, with passwords Mine Komodo. Here I have EWBF's 0.2.0B miner. So I'm going to go and edit the supernova batch file. I'm going to go back to the supernova page and copy the pool. And paste the pool address over the default address in the batch file. I'm going to change my username and worker name. I'll change it to CryptoMind.980 since this is my NVIDIA rig here. And I'll change the password to Mine Komodo. I'll also need to change the port from 2142 to 6250. Everything looks good. It's ready to go. I'll save the batch file, close the batch file, and then double click on the Supernova batch file to launch the miner. I'll go back to my dashboard and we can see that it has picked up my miner, CryptoMine.980.
My 480 rig is already working away and I'll go over that next. We'll be checking out OptiMiner and then Claymore for AMD. And here is my RX 480 rig with six RX 480s. I'm going to go into the OptiMiner folder and edit the start batch file. Here I've already got all of my information entered into the start batch file. I have my supernova pool and port. I have my username and worker name. And I have my password set in. I've changed remember to set and I've deleted the other pools since I'm not going to have to use the other pools to mine Komodo. So I'll close the batch file, double click on the start batch file, and launch the miner. Now OptiMiner is mining away. And this OptiMiner 1.6.1 is pretty much the exact same speeds as Claymore's Windows Miner. There's really not much difference at all. So you could use this or you could use Claymore's and we'll go over Claymore's next. So I'll go back to my Komodo folder. I'll go into Claymore Zcache 11.1 folder and I'm going to edit the start patch file here. You see I've already got my pool and port entered, I've already got my username, worker name entered, password entered, and I've added the all pools switch. So I'll close that batch file, I'll close OptiMiner, and I'll double click on the start Komodo batch file to start Claymore's 11.1. Now it's mining Komodo. And you can see the speeds are generally about the same that you're getting in OptiMiner, except in OptiMiner you don't actually have to pay a fee. So you can use either of those. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.